Another thing that we are looking at is the burden of education. How hard is it to manage all the new technologies, the new opportunities? How do you recommend them to approach that? Burden of education. It's a double selling cycle. So while you don't have the uh, headwinds of a mature technology, FinTech, MarTech, even sort of supply chain technology now is, is getting mature. So the issue in, the, in those markets, as I mentioned, is that there's a lot of established players now and there's consolidation. So let's say you're not in those areas and you're in some, something new. Well, you have the burden of education, which is, hey, did you know that this solution was out there for this? And secondly, we're the best to do it. Mm -hmm. So the, what, what we want to establish in terms of the communication is first and foremost, don't get to how you are the best at something when they don't understand the first something. So this is very- The pain. The pain. So you start with the pain always, it's a problem. You start with the pain and then you start with, did you know that there was a solution for this? So for example, let's say a company wants, they're, they're a payment process, they're a payment technology and they, they offer the ability to take Venmo and PayPal physically in a store. Let's say that's an example. Many people might not even know that that's an option. I mean, they know that you can pay with credit card. They know you can pay with Apple Pay. But hey, did you know? It's the did you know? Um, so it's not really a pain per se. It's a more a an awareness. Did you know? This is really important. Less about nailing the meeting because before you can nail a meeting, you have to get the meeting. So how do you get the meeting? So you're going to do a drip campaign and a communication strategy that alternates between just the actual solution, just the solution itself, not you. That's where the burden of education is. But if you're educating them on, hey, 87% of customers would pay with Venmo if they had the opportunity, whatever research you've done and you have, and then you just tag it, burden of education campaign. And then you, then you alternate it with, we're the best solution to pay with Venmo. Uh, and that's where that uh, brand positioning comes in. Here's how we compare to everyone else. In fact, there is no one else. Um, and, you, and you alternate that. You're basically providing to the retailer, again, doing that work, educating them. And then when you get in the meeting, you have to, again, take a step back, explain why this matters. They might not even know they have this pain and then understand that you are the best solution. If I can just add, I just did a, a report on, on something called journey hijacking, and it's where malware comes, malvertising comes into a website. Many people don't even know it's happening. There's a, another example of a burden of education. Here's this problem you don't even know you have, and we solve it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a good example to the Israeli company that is solving that, the Mughal. Uh, yeah, I agree. So there you have a double burden when you, when you really need, because most of the time, the brands are well aware to their problems and challenges. Uh, but this is a good opportunity to remind us all that we don't know what we don't know. So it's also a very good thing to remember when approaching such a meeting. 